Hi everyone, it's a little tale to tell you about videos on YouTube now. Some of you may have seen a video I put up the other day that wasn't up for very long concerning a wind kite surfer that flew up and lost his ball and kind of fell back into the ocean. This video was sent to me uh, by a friend of mine and he lives over next but he duly done the video and said it was, you might be able to use it for your YouTube channel. I said well it's not really my cup of tea, I'm more of a DIY uh, plumbing eating type channel really and he said well you know it's up to you and this was a few years back, I'm talking quite a while back uh, the file was just stayed in my computer for quite a long time and I've, I, I finally saw it the other day and I thought maybe I will do something with that just for a, a change, something a little bit different to put up so I duly spent a long time cutting and editing it and getting it all together, getting a bit of music on there and making it look good. It was only 20, 30 seconds long. So I thought, duly, I'll stick it up. So put it on YouTube the other day. And uh, what I didn't know was that the friend of mine who sent me this video had also put it on Facebook. And someone had downloaded it from Facebook uh, claimed it as their own and put it up on their own YouTube channel <laughs> saying it was theirs. Now what they did was they shared the video with a site called Newsflare and what they did was they kind of half the AdSense money which is what you get for each view on YouTube and they take half and give you half and this is what this contributor had done. Uh, this company uses a, a, a machine, a really fast advanced computer to sense if anybody copies a video of theirs that's on their listing that's out there on YouTube already, it immediately pops up and straight away you get this like copyright strike type thing come up. Now I put it up the other day for any of you that did see it overnight, it was overnight, I never looked at it until the morning when I put the PC on it said we have avoided putting a copyright strike on um, because the person that owns this video uh, doesn't want to do that in a sense what they want to do is just leave you to have the video it's quite okay you can use it but all monetization revenue from it will go to this newsflare firm now that's quite a good little con isn't it because that means then you've done all the work on the video put a lot of effort in and any tiny bit of adsense money which is what we rely on with these videos goes to this company called a news flare so within seconds I was on the PC and that video was deleted forever I'm not making any money for a company called news flare but what I want to point out to you is that be very careful now in future and I will be now in future that there will only ever be my own videos that I put up because um, I narrowly missed a copyright strike there um, so it was a close call really so just one for all you that are doing videos on YouTube be careful if you do get sent stuff like I got there um, I have left it in the folder too long probably if I'd have done the video straight away and put it up I'd have been okay but because my friend had put it up on Facebook first and someone had grabbed it and obviously that now counted as their video so just to let you know what goes on and what can happen because free copyright strikes and you're off YouTube altogether uh, you're, you're knocked off so um, I narrowly missed the strike as I say um, simply because his company wanted to make more revenue out of it if more people would have copied it and put it up the more money they were going to get back in AdSense money so that's how they actually worked. So a little tell, just to tell you things that can happen on YouTube. You have to be so careful these days. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Uh, for all those that wondered where that video went, that's what happened to it. So <laughs> it's gone forever. Okay, all my stuff then. You know where to go. Usual place. Non-copyrighted. <laughs> Derrick and 33. Bye-bye.